YouTube. I am trying my best to get that set up ready because, oh my goodness, it's so hard. It's so hard to get everything in the view for YouTubes, but we're here. We're going to do this fun project, how to make a messy tassel. So I'm going to get these other two set up so that we can have everybody on here live. All of our friends. Let me see here. Mm, yeah, that'll work. All right, let me get my AirPods going. Hold on. Ah, see, why is that coming up over there? I had Bluetooth turned off over there. Okay, I'm still here. Hang tight. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. You guys let me know if you can hear me loud and clear on all of our little broadcasts here. And just so that we know that my AirPods are working, what does that say? Okay, it says I'm live now in all the places, but I need to know Michelle Blair, you are the first person to pop on the Facebook, so I will put you down. Send me a message with your address, Michelle. I want to send you some happy mail. So, okay, good morning, everybody. You guys let me know you can hear me loud and clear. Yes, Plunkett Penny, my hair has grown uh, out big time, so um, it is longer than usual, but I'm here for it. I'm here for it because, you know, there's there's few things in life anymore, right? Right? Hey, sweet Melinda. Y'all trying to get my coffee in my hands. Okay, listen, this is serious. Not a day over fabulous. Not a day over fabulous. You guys need to crush it. Crush it. That's what we say here at Southern Crush at Home. And so I hope that you guys will be so inspired that you'll want to crush it. Um, onto your friends. Yay. Okay. Um, thank you so much. Oh, hey, Miss Rosa. Mary, you're so sweet. Michelle, you're so excited. Okay, put that in my private message so I can actually get your full address. So just hit message and then send me a message. Okay. Oh, no. So Amy says the sound's not working well. Oh, gosh. Thank you, Elizabeth, for crushing it. We gotta have the sound working well. How about now? Okay, so y'all say it sounds a little fuzzy. Is, is this any better? Let me know. And if this doesn't work, I'm gonna take all of the audio devices off and start over with my, um, with my, with no, no audio devices. So Instagram, I know you guys can hear me well because Instagram is, um, that platform doesn't give me any troubles. No troubles at all. Okay, it's not better, Jamie. Kathy says good. All right, I just need to know. Still fuzzy. Okay, no worries, don't, don't be sorry. Let's try it with nothing. Um, how, how is this, Facebook? How is this? If this is good, we'll get started because we have a super fun project to make today. Oh, still sounds like a fan. Um, it's, gosh, y'all, and it's not the device because I changed, I changed phones on this. Hmm. Well, loud static. Gravy. Okay, I am going to be back Facebook and I will do this for you guys separately. So let me just see what we got going on in all the places. Let me do, oh, Margaret says the sound is good. Are we good now? Jamie says still there. Oh, Rosa says crushed it. All right, you guys, you guys, I can't help the sound. Facebook, oh, you, Julie says it's bad. Okay. Oh, y'all, what do I do? I got to make fast decisions. Um, fast decisions. Try it one more time. Well, I don't want you to have to hear me through the static is the problem. 
Um, is this any better? I'm going to get started here and, and we will work with Facebook and if Facebook isn't working, then I will do a separate live for you ladies in just a minute. Um, okay, still fuzzy, still fuzzy, no change. Gosh, y'all, it's really hard to get everything right, but Facebook's volume has not been working for me lately, so I've had to do a lot of different things. Um, okay, Mary says just go with it. She can hear me fine, like enough. Ah, okay, so we're gonna go with it. Listen, guys, if you follow me for a while, you know that I have something called the messy bow, right? And I have an example here. I kind of bring this one out all the time. This is my messy bow. It is basically, um, this one's all drop cloth. So drop cloth with a fun jewel. Is there something close to my phone? Um, another phone and these lights. Let me turn off my lights. Let me see if lights, if lights help. Did it go away? Cause I don't mind doing this in the dark. I have no fans on. So anyway, so this is a messy bow. This is what a messy bow looks like. And this is um, just with drop cloth. So normally it's with a lot of different fabrics, but today I wanted to make something a little bit different and um, stay like you started out. Y'all are killing me with your comments. Okay. Sounds like water running. Oh gosh. Y'all now look, I'm all sun. Okay, this is so stressful for me. I think I'm going to uh, do Facebook separate and in just a little bit. So Facebook, hang tight. I will get back to you in just a minute and I am going to go over here and do Instagram and YouTube. And then if you want to hop on Instagram and YouTube, I will, um, I will um, come back and do y'all's in just a minute. Oh, okay, I'm gonna turn this one off. Sorry. Okay, where were we? Ladies, let's do this. Let me turn on my lights again because I gotta have light. I gotta have light. And I'm gonna turn this camera on. I'm going to video what we're doing here. And we are going to be making a messy tassel. So I'm gonna grab this fabric. These are the pieces that I chose to do this with. Let's see here. And for this project, it's a little different than the messy bow. So we're gonna actually measure it out a little bit longer. And I'm thinking, you know, this is whatever size tassel you want. If you want a large tassel, then you're gonna make it longer and vice versa. So I think I was thinking about, and remember whatever you pick, it's about half. So that would be the length of that tassel. If I do 16, it'll be about eight. I think this is what I want, about 16 inch tassel, right? So I'm going to cut this using my fabric scissors. I am just gonna cut out a square to get it started. And then basically we are going to repeat this process for all of the strips of fabric. So Sweet Kimmery, I know I saw her here on Instagram with me, but she is the one that sent me, I believe, this pretty, pretty polka dot fabric that I'm going to use for the messy tassel. Let's see here. Come on now. Got to find a, a good spot that's not already cut because I cut little pieces out of the material every once in a while. Okay, we are going to go, I'm gonna cut that off. So 16 is about right here. And again, it does not have to be perfect because it's messy. It's a messy tassel. So. Y'all, I hate it when that sound doesn't work because it is super frustrating. <laughs> Oh my goodness, and Facebook is notorious, absolutely notorious. Gosh. All right, I'm taking this little piece off because it has some, um, it's that selvage, is it called selvage, that section? 
I don't know y'all. I act like I'm a fabric wizard, but I am not. I just play one on TV. No, I'm kidding. So we've got two sets of fabric here. We're going to do a couple more. All right, 16. 16 inches. Where are you? Right here. Right here, it says. Again, does not have to be perfect. We are just getting ourselves some squares cut out to work with because they're a little bit smaller. And you just need to pick like coordinating fabric. So these are all kind of in the pink tone family for Valentine's. And so I'm keeping it all pink, keeping it all pink. Grabbing the coffee in between. Hey there. So some of you guys are coming over here from the Facebooks. I understand. I understand. It's super frustrating. Okay. So we are going to cut this. And as far as how, I'll show you how um, deep I went with these pieces when, when I get them all cut. One more. And I just eyeball them like I can already tell that one's crooked as heck. Crooked, crooked, crooked. How is everybody this morning? My goodness. Let's see if this one's even 16. Woo, it's just about 16. So I'm gonna leave it the length it is and I'm just gonna cut me a square out of it. Don't you love that sound? I absolutely adore that sound. <laughs> Florence Jordan, good morning to you. Good morning. So I dropped me my secret weapon here that we're going to use in just a minute. Just tuned in what size are your pieces. So I'm about to tell y'all they are 16 long and they are about, I would say about six, six to seven inches wide, but I may not use all of that. That's why I don't ever usually give that measurement. I usually don't give any measurements let's just be honest because um, it's all up to you like what size you want your tassel to be now if you're a perfectionist you're gonna iron the creases out of this and get it all just right but not me I'm just gonna cut me some pieces And I'm even gonna cut them all at the same time. Yep, that's happening. That's happening right now before your very eyes. Here we go. There's no set size. These are about an inch wide. But again, you can make them as skinny or as wide as you prefer. Love it. There's that. It is a beautiful day here in North Texas, you guys. Gosh, if I could bottle up the weather and send it to everybody, I would because it is brisk. It is beautiful. And I'm cutting these. Normally, you would um, tear them but I got so frazzled by my video not working that here I am just cutting them all. But you can cut them, or if you need a little bit of crafting therapy, you can certainly tear them. Tearing them gives them that really pretty frayed look that the messy bow is known for. The wider you do the fabric, like the depth, the more tassels you'll have and the more full, I mean the more little stems you'll have and the more full your final tassel will look. Guys, this is gonna be so pretty. I can't wait to show you. Boom, and uh, let's 
see. We're going to call that one done, but we're going to cut these. What? This one, well, that one's a little wide. Let's just cut these one more time this direction, starting this direction. Some of these are going to be really skinny and some are going to be really fat and that's okay. So we've got all of our fabric cut and this is our beginning of our tassel. It's already so pretty y'all. Okay. I'm keeping it all together. We'll mess with it in a second. Um, now you could do all sorts of things with this. You could totally add some lace. I thought about adding some lace, but I have such a hard time picking lace. Um, I don't know if I want to add lace to this one. We could add a couple pieces just to kind of give it a little something extra. How about that? This is some pretty lace, but you know what? There's only one piece, so that's not going to work. Yeah, all these other laces are really wide. I'd need to cut them down. Do you think I should add lace or not? If you tap the screen, if you tap the screen, it must go away. Oh, are y'all talking about comments? Yeah. Tap the screen on Instagram and those will go away. I think I'm going to hold off on the idea of using, um, I'm going to reserve one piece of fabric. Yeah, I'm not going to use the uh, lace, I don't think. So now we're going to take our zip tie. Okay, this is the secret to all good messy anythings. We're gonna fold this, take this in about half, fold it down in our hands, make a little bunch, and we're gonna zip tie this, okay? This is so easy, y'all. What do they say, even a fifth grader could do it? I think a third grader could do it and they would have a good time doing it. All right. So before I do that, I was supposed to thread it. So let me undo this and redo this. So y'all are patient. Hang tight. I got really frazzled this morning. I mean, that kind of stuff messes me up. I'm trying to like keep all of it together and that's just not going to work. Let me see what I have here for another zip tie. Okay, to the rescue. These are little wire nippers and these always help when you are making something with zip ties and you need to redo. Just like that and just like that. Whoa, I got that out. All right, opening it back up. Y'all, all right, so. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hemp thread. So this is hemp twine. I have a link for it if you need to know where to find it. And I'm just gonna take an average amount. Let's see here, let's see here. 24 inches is probably more than enough, but you know, I'm just gonna over because I don't wanna get stuck without enough. Of course, it's all tangled up. Now this is um, skinnier than regular twine and more sturdy than regular twine. So there is that, let's see here. But somehow it got all tangled up. How are we doing YouTube? Oh my goodness, lots of y'all are over there. 23 inches and I'm gonna just double that grins just so that we end up making sure that we have enough okay so that is the hemp twine I'm going to thread this underneath underneath my batch of fabric and I'm just going to tie it into a little knot. Okay. 
So now I have my tassel into a knot. And then I'm going to bunch it like a fifth grader or a third grader. Make sure my thumb can fit through. And then make this part with the zip tie. So I just threaded the hemp through the top and then I added the zip tie about an inch down on the project, okay? And then with the zip tie, I'm going to nip it again right at the base and then we're going to cover it up with our reserved. I accidentally reserved two, y'all. I meant to just reserve one. That's okay. We can double tie it. And you're just going to wrap this around where your zip tie is just to cover it up. Okay. And I'm just double tying it in a little knot. And it really just completely covers the zip tie on the front and the back so that you can see. <laughs> okay. Now, normally this is all frayed because it's um, a messy tassel, but you can fray it by tearing it or you can leave it straight however you want it to look. Now, I'm going to take it a step further and I'm gonna add some bling to the tassel, okay? So this is the key, this is the secret, this is how I'm making it mine, is the messy tassel, the fabric tassel with bling. We're just gonna grab a piece that, you know, goes good enough, that we think looks good. Oh, this one's so pretty with the butterflies, guys. Look at that. Can y'all see it? Butterfly would look good. It would look really good. Um, pearls. The pearls would look good. Let's see about this. Yeah, we're going to go with this one. So this one's my favorite. It's got a little bit of the faux diamonds. And then it's got the faux pearls. So I'm going to just take it, take it from the little fastener. So there's a little fastener and I'm going to put it through where the zip tie was. It might be easier to do it before you cover it with fabric, but either way, you're going to thread it through. And it keeps getting me. There we go. This is going to be so cute. So worth it. Okay. So here's what we have so far. Oh my gosh. Adorbs. Look at this. It's coming alive for us. It's coming alive. Okay, now I'm going to thread it because I wanted to have it have beads because this is going to go on a doorknob. So I'm excited for that. Another little tip here. I don't know, I didn't measure my doorknob, but you probably want to know about how um, um, big your doorknob is so that you know it will clear it, right? And you could go with different colored beads, you could paint these beads. This bead has some glue on it already. Oh, goodness. Okay. I saved the bead. Shouldn't take too many beads for this. Now 
Now you could make it just a straight um, beaded tassel where you just put a few beads on it like this, or you could um, do what I'm doing, which I'm gonna make a ring for it to go on the actual doorknob. This would look pretty with, um, with these painted like a whitewashed. Could totally do that. Or you could paint them pale pink. I think pale pink would be would be good. Thank you, Kimmery. Okay. Welcome new YouTube watchers. Okay, I'm looking here. That's not quite big enough for a doorknob yet. Thinking a little bit bigger. It's gotta clear the knob, remember? Clear the knob. That's why you want to make sure, if you can, measure before you get this far into the project. But I'm here. You're here. I'm glad you're here. And we are getting it done. Okay, I think that's perfect for a doorknob. I think it will totally cover it. So the way you're going to end it is take that shorter piece of twine and you're going to tie it into a tight knot. and just make sure, and that's the great thing about this hemp twine, guys, is that it is like solid. So I just did that in a knot and it's not gonna go anywhere. I'll do it one more little knot just to make sure. And then I'm going to nip it. Okay, there. Bada bing, bada boom. We have the cutest ever little doorknob messy tassel. Sorry, I gotta turn that off. And it's got wood beads. Y'all, we made it today. Is This is like a Monday, but it's Tuesday. It has beads and it has um, bling. Okay. So again, you can fluff this, you can make it as um, shabby as you want, you could trim it. I'm going to probably spread it out a little just to kind of give it some extra fluff, but how cute. And you could get so creative with all the different um, fabric choices that are out there with all the different colors. You could do the one for every single season. I'm pretty sure I will be doing it. Um, but yeah, absolutely, absolutely love how this turned out. I will um, put this on the blog with instructions and little measurements for all the people who really want the measurements and then um, some finished pictures so you can kind of see how this goes in my house on uh, the doorknob. Now, again, you don't have to make it for a doorknob. You can totally just make a single strand. You can make it a really long one with a tassel. It doesn't matter. But this is my new messy tassel. Um, and what makes it mine is the bling, guys, the bling. Um, so I hope you love it. Let me know if you'll make one of these because that would super, super excite me to see what you come up with because I know you guys, y'all are more creative than me. So until next time, stay creative. I love you guys. Mwah. Bye. Okay, let me turn um, y'all off over here on YouTube. I have to walk. I have to walk all the way over here. <laughs> but thank y'all for watching.